Hi, welcome to myprojectpasa.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. Modeling a dynamic data replication strategy to input system availability in cloud computing environments. Now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. Cloud computing is a large scale distributed computing paradigm driven by economies of scale in which a pool of abstracted virtualized dynamically scalable highly available and configurable and reconfigurable computing resources example network server storage applications and data can be rapidly provisioned released with minimal management effort in the data centers in this paper a mathematical model is formulated to describe the relationship between the system availability and the number of replicas why the size, access time, and failure probability of each data file are taken into consideration. To improve the system availability, replicating the popular data to multiple suitable locations in an advisable choice as users can access the data from a nearby site. This is, however, not the case for replicas which must have a fixed number of copies on several locations. How to set a reasonable number and right locations for replication has become a challenge in the cloud computing. In this paper, a cloud computing dynamic data replication strategy is put forward with a brief survey of application strategies suitable for distributed computing environments. It includes analyzing and modeling the relationship between system of replication and number of replicas, evaluating and identifying the proper data and triggering a replication operation and the popularity data process at dynamic threshold. Calculating a suitable number of copies to meet a reasonable system rate effective rate in decrement facing replication among data nodes in a balanced study. This is a dynamic data replication algorithm in the cloud. This is the abstract of our processing. Now let me discuss about the data diagram of our process. First our process starts with the environment creation. So here uh, we are have to create the cloud creation, data center creation and VM creation. After that we have to submit the task between the VM1 and the VM2. After that, we have to predict the resource prediction. After that, we have to allocate the task. After that, we have to predict the resource utilization and load analysis for the particular VMs. Then we have to check the availability. And after that, we have to replicate the data into the data storage. So, uh, so here we are uh, having uh, we have to protect the resources between the source and destination and VMs and allocate the task to the resources based upon the loads and resources consumed for the VMs. So this is the data for diagram of our process. Now let me discuss about the demo of our process. So first we have to run home.java and click a real time process first we have to register you have to uh, enter your information so enter username password retype password mail id and get id for the users register successfully and after that we have to login into the process you have to enter your id and password And click login you are authenticated user here data will be hosted so you have to browse your data and choose track and data center and send request to cloud run cloud on dot java receive request and go to that particular user send request check availability space in server and click track file File information, uh, stored file will be here and click store in DFS, file uploader in uh, Hadoop and click workload. So here we have check the availability. There is no space to store the file and availability and click sort. Replicated by total number of requests and send requests for file tracking. Then file will be tracked from storage node. Total access system get resource utilization. And estimate comparison. So this 
after that we are implementing clouds and process then here we are uh, creating a data center and broker and under uh, the number of brokers and uh, after that we have to create the vms and after that we have to create the job and for the particular jobs and like here we have to analyze execution time calculation and cost estimation and click next to analyze cloud latin pre-arterize at base and map successfully estimated and schedule as job and then calculate the cost and for this existing system we will evaluate the performance of the existing system proposal this is a complete demo of our process thank you for watching